The Foul Mouth Al Show is produced by Elaine Carroll Studios. Welcome to the Foul Mouth Al Show's 100th episode. Welcome to the Foul Mouth Al Show's 100th episode. Yes! Yeah. Woo! So we got an action-packed 100th episode here tonight, guys. We got a room full of people. Good-looking people, too. Not them hey, ugly motherfuckers we had in here a year ago. Hey, can you turn me up? We're improving. Huh? Can you turn me up? No, I'm not turning you up. <laughs> well, you want your micro- as it is. I can yeah, you want your microphone to work, too? There. 100 episodes. The squig sh- fucking still don't got his technology right. <laughs> I bring a battery. I'm too loud now. <laughs> too loud. Check. There you go. How's that? That's good. Next time, get here early. We can do a sound check. I was here. Squig right. was here at three thirty. Yes. No, he wasn't. Yes, I was. He was here at four thirty. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. Oh crap. He was here at four thirty. Was I? Yes. No, I wasn't. So Squig's been working hard producing the show, or he wouldn't be having a hundredth episode. Let's give Squig a hand. Way. He's dedicated. He's got his Foulmouth Al shirt on. Foulmouthal.com. Where's the band at, Squig? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> I had four of them trying to reel them in, and, you know, We're they... We're going to sing tonight. <laughs> there you go. There's the band right there. Yep. That's it. What are you singing? Also with us is Dawn, who has no official last name, Chrissy <laughs> Snow. <laughs> That's right. No official. <laughs> Micheline, that's all I'm going to say right now. Well, everybody will know who it is anyhow. How many Michelines do you know? <laughs> Micheline? Yeah, especially if you look up me and then you see her friend. Tire company, She's busted. Other... Micheline. Oh, 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 that's not. Okay. That is a tire company. Do you own the Michelin company? That's why, yeah. <laughs> yes. Who needs tires? We got a new sponsor for the Al Mouth Al Show. Um... Chrissy Snow's here, and the producer's here, and Ian's My producing. Boy. He's been working hard all week. Yep, he has. Squig tells me how hard you're working. Come here, jump over here real quick. Colin got up so he so that you could sit down. Ready? Colin knows what's up. <laughs> Colin knows what's up. What's up, Ian? How you been, man? Uh, all right. Tell us about your week this week. What do you mean, my week? What I did all week? Yeah. Just things around the house. Uh, <laughs> hung out, friends. What, made beats? Nah. No, a bit. No, I didn't rap. <laughs> uh, that's it. Squig hey. says you were working hard. He was. Working hard. Oh, we kept in contact. He must have forgot about it. Did yeah. you cook ever? Yeah, I cooked. Uh, was this girl really supposed to come? I know I cooked something, maybe like some steak or something. Yeah. Ian's been in contact with the pinup contest winner. What's her name? Kristen, something yeah. or another. Yeah. And she was going to be here tonight. Yeah. But is not going to be here tonight. And uh, she told Ian she was having an evacuation. She had to leave. Wow. She, told me she had to leave the planet. Was she live at Woolen Beach? No, uh, Newark, I think. <laughs> What's that? Somebody said something about enemas. <laughs> when you mentioned evacuation. <laughs> well, she owns the House of Enemas. That's right. So. Micheline owns. That's Micheline is here from Micheline's House of Enemas. <laughs> Yeah, look it up on Facebook. It's there, it's there right next to my bathroom. <laughs> Tell us about Micheline's House of Enemas. What the hell is that all about? <laughs> you were there. Didn't you? you were there. Yeah, you were there. I, I saw that, but I don't recall. I must have been drugged. Well, there was just you a big were. box of them at Dawn's. There was a big box of enemas that your mother brought over. With her dishes in them. <laughs> Chrissy's mother brought over... Wait a minute. A box of enemas and dishes. Aren't you guys sisters? <laughs> Only on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yes. Okay. So for whatever that means. <laughs> so your mom brings over a box of enemas. No, with, with they actually had. And you flooded enemas. your apartment, and then uh, the pinup contest winner had to evacuate. Right. With- so you guys douched her out, <laughs> or enemied her out. <laughs> we'll get her next time. So what happened, Ann? Tell us all about it. With the model. Yeah. I get, dude. Like I said, we were talking all week. She was interested. She wants to promote herself, and then she just got, like, 9.30 this morning, she sent me that message. I know what happened. She listened to the show. <laughs> she said, fuck that shit. I did. God damn. I'm not going over there. 
Them guys are fucking crazy. Who do I think she'll come? You do? Yeah, she I do. Like she or the boyfriend yeah. said, uh-uh, that's you ain't going there. That's a pretty big thing to say that, I mean, that didn't happen. I mean, if it didn't, if that's a pretty big thing to say. I wouldn't lie about something like that. I don't know. She was talking to Ian. She probably thought he believed her. Yeah. <laughs> she remembers his stare anyway. So what's happening with Ian? Have you found a new love in your life yet? No, nah, I mean... I think you got to get inspired, man. When I first met you, you were all, like, good to go, and then some girl canceled you, and then next thing you know... I know. It was the only girl to ever... I don't like talking about it. How old are you? <laughs> Ian, are you 20? Ian, are you 20? 21. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. He's a baby. I know. I'll be 22 Thursday or oh, Friday. Oh, great. Always nice. bragging. That means you've had a very healthy love life. <laughs> <laughs> Been in love that many times. Yeah. <laughs> Once. You take Aww. him out to the shed, Ian. That's sweet. Did you get your shed yet? No. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> we should ask his, uh, his sister, sister about says, that shed. Oh, God. What now, about the Ian, that was a good idea. But Ian tells on himself. Yeah, he does. So honest. So okay. with, where, where are we at with the shed project? <laughs> well, that, I mean, I was working this job where I was making enough to either take on a car payment or take on the, the shed kind of idea I had. But the key I'm word is was. Job. Venue. I was. believe in your idea. You do? Well, what was it? Your shed idea to have shows in the shed. Yeah. <laughs> and then like a workout thing or something. I don't know. I had some. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't know about yeah. show and workout at the same time. Like a meeting place. Great. I got these woods around. <laughs> huh? There's Michelin's cleavage, this really. Do you see <laughs> hey, I, feel, I feel the awkwardness. Let me say, listen. <laughs> I just want to say that that was guy talk. It was, it was just a compliment. It's a nice picture. <laughs> I'm sure you're really nice. He was creeping on you. <laughs> it was. I was creeping that day. I was on my computer just looking at everyone. But it's okay. It was guy yeah. talk. Yeah, yeah. But I think you liked it. Would you even ask me? Yeah. I asked you if you were, yeah. if you were, what do you call it, fucking checking out Micheline's cleavage on Facebook. Yeah, I, was, I knew this one. You were stalking her? No, I, I did <laughs> click her picture. I think I, I can only see that picture or something. I don't know. Probably you didn't friend her? No. What are you, scared? A friend girls on Facebook? So Ian was checking out your cleavage, Michelin. Well, it was there for everybody to look at. It was. Your boyfriend said it was fine. It was. Yeah, he for means everyone to look at. Is, is that your boyfriend? Yeah. It is? No. Hey, man, if it is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's guy talk. Really. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Ian boyfriend. doesn't want no shit. No. I did meet you before. Wait, didn't I meet you? Denny's oh, been here he, probably a hundred times. Not for the show. Yeah, he's been here for the show. Oh, I remember him doing something else, I thought. I'm sorry. Oh, back, maybe. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. When you lit off the firework or something. Could have been. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, when I lit off that firecracker and scared the shit yeah. out of people? I've done that a few times. Yeah. Huh? They get, they get really crazy when I do it. What? You're in town with them. Um, what, firecrackers? Yeah. Of course, mine are like them Russian roulette things that spin around out in the front yard. So. <laughs> <laughs> Albert's just loud the horses as hell, get a little man. upset. Yeah, ours ours are a little bit. We have a little bigger firecracker <laughs> program. Wow. When we can what get these firecrackers, they're pretty pretty impressive. But so. it's only okay the Earth shakes. Smoke weed in two states. Or the camera That's guy, one of them. What are you talking about over there? We can hear you whispering, but we can't hear exactly what you're saying. I said I was telling Micheline since we were talking about horses that you and I had found out earlier. That it's okay to have sex with a horse in 23 states. Yes. But it's only okay to smoke weed in two. That's bullshit. <clears throat> what the hell is so up with you look that? At the chive? It sounds like horse shit to me. It sounds like horse shit, right? It is. Okay. Can you look at the chive <laughs> website or something? I don't know. We were just okay. talking this That's morning and something that, popped yeah. up about screwing horses. And I was uh. like, oh, my God. So I told him that we could go there. He could smoke weed and I'll fuck horses, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Oh yes. God. Yay. Now we have a or mission. I can smoke weed and you can fuck horses. <laughs> now, we know what, now we know where we're going to retire. <laughs> Huh. And what are those states, Dawn? Uh, I don't know. Michigan? Well, that, or, well, no, Washington, Oregon, and Colorado. Colin knows about Colin all these states. Knows. Those Damn, are the states for horses? No, we, uh, <laughs> I need a state that you can do horses <laughs> and smoke weed. Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Do they have horses hand in Mexico? Hand. Or mules or something, or donkeys. Yeah. We're yeah, going to have, we're going to make horse porn. <laughs> That's already been done. Mr. Hands, yeah, I told you about that already. Yeah, you did. All right, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm getting trouble. Colin spends too much time on the internet. <laughs> hey, rule 34. Who would go to Mr. Hands? Mm -hmm. What's Mr. Hands? Can't hear you. Huh? You're what's not Mr. on a mic. We can't hear you. Oh. Well, what's Mr. Hands? It's horse porn. He's got yeah. on YouTube of him jerking off. 
No. Switching hands. What's Colin that? does. Ed. Yeah. Ed. That was Mr. Ed. <laughs> All right, so we got no band. <laughs> no band. And we got no model to interview. You can interview me as a model. Colin is a model now. Are you going to pose? Colin is a model. Actually, he pose. told us about his... Um, he does nude modeling, <laughs> nude gay <Hold> modeling. <laughs> and uh, he said he could probably get you in, Ian. Yeah. I thought he was going to model with Ian. No, huh? I'm not interested, man. I'm tired of hearing that shit. Sorry, <laughs> well, we're sorry. Colin's gay. It's all right, no. <laughs> Dude, you're hurting Colin's feelings. Because you just went feeling. out with him last week. Yeah, yeah. I remember, hey, that's just not me. Colin, man. you forgot to tell Chrissy something. <laughs> ah, the mighty. She's Louise. He was hoping that you were going to move to one of them horse states. What <laughs> Colin's probably going to leave early now. Ian, you're, you're looking awful awkward right now, buddy. Ian's upset. I'm, yo, honestly, I've been busy all day, and I just had an <laughs> energy drink trying to. I'm, I just was moving all day. Yeah, sitting down is so hard right now. To like, it's like my mind's just going crazy or something. I don't know. Is it? Yeah. Damn. I'm all right though. So you scared that Colin likes you? He said it's hard to sit down. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Have you already been on a date with Colin? <laughs> Where were you at before? Ian was with me before, so there you go. <laughs> now I was just helping like like my fan like dealing with a fucking my aunt and uncle and they're just annoying and helping them move all day. They really are like you shouldn't say that. I don't, you know they're listening right now they live on this. the you Facebook page. Worry about all the shit there, you know what I mean? Just other shit. So. Your, your mom could tell them to listen. You're busted. Excuse me. So are you working at all right now? No, yeah, I am looking. I want something where I want to actually like uh, like the gym. I'm trying to get back in the gym, maybe just something to get. Just some spending money, and then, I don't know, figure something out. But, but I have been, so since I've quit my job, just ex extremely lazy. Well, I got the list that you sent me. <coughs> what oh, yeah. And uh, you can start calling that list. Yeah? Yep. You liked all of them? Yeah, every one of them. Colin's got another letter that you can send to him as well that we're sending out for pictures and stuff. So... Oh, I said that's all new to me, but I mean, if you want to walk me through it, how to call people and stuff. Yeah, man, we'll set you up. All right. So if anybody wants to uh, help Ian out, and you're listening to this, be it now or in the future, give Ian the producer a call. Right, Ian? What's the number where they can reach you? How can somebody get a hold of Ian? Through here. I'm not giving my phone number out. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is it? 423 or something? 423 That was 0 Which comes out to tits. No, it's five. <laughs> no, that's, 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 that's not the one. The show phone number is 302-514-TITS. But that won't get you directly to me. If you're looking for a good time, call me and the Cougar Hunter. I have some skills. <laughs> Yeah. Ian the Cougar Hunter, he has some skills. So if you're an older woman, oh, wow. he's a good-looking guy. Any, any girls? Hey, of course, you? yes. Come hey, on. Hey, Al, he told me this yesterday. So Ian, you would be a gigolo, would you not? <laughs> what do you mean, a juggler or a... Uh... A gigolo. <laughs> a gigolo, like a male whore. I was about to say he's a juggler. That was not a no. He was like, well, you know, tell us what that I'm meant. He's a nice guy. Tell us what, yeah. Just because yeah. he likes to help women have pleasure you for like money. your age, too, right? Yeah. But no, I mean, lately, I, I do, I'll admit it, like, I've been hit, hit a dry spell, or just... What was that, an like, older milf? What? <laughs> <laughs> I've been with two older women, but that's just... I don't know. That's I'm in not the really past. interested in older women. I do like girls my age. Because, there you go. Yeah. I don't good, good boy, there you go. And you're 22 well now? 22 yes. Friday. 22 this Friday or last Friday? No, this Friday, yeah. This Friday. Ian's birthday. We having a big party in the shed? Or yeah. uh, probably just something at home. We can have a party in my garage if you want. Yeah. I hope it's cold. <laughs> I'm off this weekend. Yeah, you're off. Dawn's off this weekend. We can have a big disco party down here. Just fucking clear it Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Roller skate, everything. Yeah. Come on. Ride your bicycle around. Bring a boogie board. Boogie board. Scooter. Colin will be here taking pictures. Yeah. Naked. He'll wear <laughs> We'll make him wear clothes, so, don't, so we don't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, oh, right. just make him wear um, j jock strap. Close enough. That's it. Oh. What's the matter, Micheline? Nothing. It's just visual. She's thinking of Colin in a jock strap. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> huh. She loves that kind of stuff. Oh, Lord. Certainly. 
All right, kids. <clears throat> so what else is happening, Squig? He's thinking about it, too. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do we got coming up? Is who's coming up? Like great <laughs> who's coming up? In the what? next couple great of weeks. Pink. In the next couple of weeks. Next week. Who's, who you got next week? <laughs> they got to get back Thanks. with me. Who's they? Uh, I'm, you know, Devolver. Put them out there. Devolver wants to come back. Next week? In the spring. Who's going to be next week? And <clears throat> Brighton Saint wants to come in on when it's springtime and who else i got um next week <laughs> next week uh, I'm, you know what i'm working on for next week yes I'm no i don't that's why i'm asking you next week <laughs> yes, yes i want to know you know you hurt my feelings don't make me pull out my CeeLo sheets yeah. see colin doesn't know when to take a picture does he mm -hmm. yeah you missed that look, photo op he was daydreaming there, so he got next wicked week in, I, i'm not the wicked end up, i'm trying to get wicked end in all right so anyway, we did get some viewer mail last week. Did we? Yes. Awesome. Is it good or bad? It's always good, isn't it? It's always something. It's about Chrissy. Not about me, is it? I wasn't here last week. I don't know. Wait, a wicked end. Their singer okay. has a weird mustache. He's, he's got a... <laughs> the Wicked End singer has a weird mustache, Colin said. Do you like that, Colin? Is no, that... it looks like, like he looked weird. Colin, are you gay or, or no. bisexual? What is the deal? Tell us no, the truth. I, I remember I told you I'm trisexual. Trisexual, and that means... Try it. You're willing to try anything yeah. and see what happens. Yeah. And Ian, you're not down with any of that stuff. What are you? You're straight, right? Yeah. You like I'm guys. Straight. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I have a problem with it. I just, it's not, really, I have no problem with it. <laughs> Ian's got such an anger issue tonight. I know. Honestly, I do feel a little, I just had a shitty day, to be honest. Did you? I just rushed here, yeah. Like, I don't know. Just... Well, thanks for coming down. We appreciate yeah, it. Damn it's right. It's hard to say. Thanks for bringing your, your, your sister. I know. I, like, begged her to come because, like, I try to get my buddies to come in and feel like coming tonight, so. Thank you. All right. <laughs> oh, he's so lovely. All right, so. <clears throat> so what? So what? All right. What? So now for some dumb music in the background. While I read this letter here. Somebody named Malcolm Moore. Hello, my name is Malcolm Moore. I listened to your show the other day, and I was wondering what you <laughs> and Squig do it when you are playing Naked Twister. Squig's ass right in your face, squatting, looking at you with its brown eye. Or if one of you get a dick touching you, fuck that, I wouldn't play. I think that makes you guys bisexual to even consider this. Not that there's anything wrong with that, just saying. What? That's awesome. And the producer, I mean, Malcolm Moore. <laughs> Speaking of that, Tw uh, that was Chrissy's idea. Yes, and it was an all-female game. It didn't involve her. Yeah, males. now yeah. being our yeah. gay from it. P.S. Whose idea <laughs> was this again? Was it Ian's? Cause one on cause on one show you guys was saying he is gay and gonna oh. make a porno. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand it. Freedom of speech. You guys are free of a closet. Ha ha ha. Colin is a gay faggot or something. Colin is the gay one, right? That's what it says. Damn. <laughs> Colin is trisexual. Where's that guy from? Trisexual. It says Elkton. Country boy. Elkton not. got one from somebody in Bridgeville. Delaware. I see you guys have new hotties on the show. They get naked. What? Will they get naked also because they're hot? I would love to be on the show to meet the snow girls. Are they into black guys with extra foreskin? Absolutely. No. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, don't bring it on over here. We want to see that. I want to see that. Chrissy says no. Ew. Maybe when you see it, it'll, you'll change Maybe. your mind. Maybe. Yeah, it'll look like a snake. Give it, a, it, give it, it a, a chance. Sounds like a bad idea. Dawn's jumping right in. Bring lots of lube. Big <laughs> sea cucumber. And I, might, and I might have to wash them first. I can do anything you white boys, but deeper. Oh. oh. Well, I don't want to choke on it. Yeah, really. That's a new thing. You, you know? can look Is him it? up on Facebook. Yeah, he gave us his name. Yeah, they say mascara's not all wrapped <laughs> up down your face. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to say it on oh, here. okay. But I can give it to you later. Chrissy's you like, really? It? Hey, can I have it? Can I have it now? <laughs> I can look it, it up right now. She wants it now. 
She wants the lube. Him. There you go. She wants the, she wants the lube? Oh, okay. she Did you get it? Yeah. It was the only opportunity. Anyway. We got one more. Good lord. Somebody from Newark, Bernice. When you start the show and introduce Squig, he don't know what to call you. <laughs> it's like he doesn't know what to call you. What's up with that? Is it on purpose or is he a spaz? Does he drink on the show? If not, why? <laughs> <laughs> he should drink more often. That's fucked up. But I, I stutter a little bit sometimes, I have to be honest. Why? <clears throat> I don't know, because I forget what to call you. F -f 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 <laughs> call me Fivel. Nah, that's ignorant. I would never do that. You're lying. You do it all the time. I am not a lion, I'm a man. <laughs> 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 Roar! <laughs> and that's the end of uh, the viewer mail for this week. Yay, viewer mail. Yay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 100th episode. 100. So much going on. <laughs> yeah, boy. So much happening. I'm antsy. Ooh. Ian. Yeah. Can you rap for us or something? Eh, I don't know. I don't like being put on the spot. Hey, it will put you in a good mood. Yeah, I bet you can do it. I'm in a, I am having a bad day. This was awkward. <laughs> Sit on my lap. And sing that rap. Oh gosh, Ian, don't no, even I'm worry over about that. that. No, I'm saying, but then also too, like I killed an energy drink. And I'm just trying to sit still and like. She sat it, next that's why to I'm you for a reason. Yeah. Hey, I let you wear mine. I sat next to her. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're right. Sorry. You could wear this <laughs> microphone. But no, I don't want to rap tonight. Well, our kids. Um, my kid was going to come tonight just to hang out, but uh, her kid came, and now they're not here. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> How old are these kids? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> old enough. Old enough? Well, Brandon's old enough, but her is <laughs> Well, Brandon, Brandon called yeah. me earlier and said, well, I want to go. Yeah. I told him to come. Well, that was what was funny. But I told Scarlett if she came, she had to shut up, but she didn't like that. Well, so, yeah, girls true. never do. He probably had a good decision not to come tonight. Jesus Christ, we got <clears throat> nothing happening here. Nothing. God damn it. So we're going to well, tell you about our here, sponsors. Perhaps. The Sport Zone in Smyrna's Free Thinker Ball. Free yeah. Thinker's Ball, last Wednesday of every month. Come check it out at the Sport Zone in Smyrna. That's 235 Stadium Street. <laughs> Tell us what's happening at the Free Thinkers Ball this month, Squig. We got Primo Nails opening up for Flow City, y'all. Flow City. So that's always a good show. It'll that's be a lot of fun. Exciting show. Full energy. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. And Primo Nails, uh, he's working, but he's got a song on the radio with Quentin Richardson. Yeah, and he just put out a new music <laughs> video. Yeah. And uh, Flow City is releasing an EP that night. So it's going to be a big party for them. So come check it out. KD Video Magazine will be there taping for ExploreDE.com. I uh, put on um, Shorty Rock's wall, posted on there. I said, isn't it about time you come on the Foulmouth House show? And what did they say, Squig? I only got a, a Nino, Nate, Nino No Say uh, like, and that's it. Wow. Right. They're hard to get. <laughs> you got to deal with their... Um, Manager. Yeah. And well, why she's, can't they just she's tough. Her? She's tough. Because she might have had to evacuate. Oh, you got that right. She might have had to evacuate. <clears throat> Damn right. Wasn't she in the hospital or something? How she bad was this flood? I don't know. I'll read. I'll read I'm stuck now. You want me to read it word for word? Yeah, give us, right. give us a rundown on it there, Ian. Ian's prepared. Who needs I said it was early. She, did, she didn't hit me up like <laughs> an hour before the show. You know what I mean? So. What? Somebody. Dawn looks confused. What's I just it? heard a phone vibrating. No, that's me. <laughs> Jesse. That's Jesse. <coughs> Squig's got a phone call from a rock star. Hello? What's up, Ann? Don't pay attention to uh, Squig. She said, hey, Ian, I, I have a little... Here, come up to the mic so we can hear you. If she listens, she's going to be like, why the fuck is he talking about this? But she was like, hey, Ian, I have a little snag in my schedule today. She said the apartment above, above us flooded and we were asked to leave the apartment for the next couple days so whenever my boyfriend gets home we have to pack some stuff and go stay with his mom who lives in PA and she was like two hours away from Smyrna. And Are they in Smyrna? No, they, I, think they, I think they're from Newark. Oh, gotcha. But uh, PA, like where they're at in PA would yeah. be two hours from here. So she was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it tonight but once I am back in the, my apartment, which would be Friday at least, I will definitely... Yeah, would it 
uh, I'll come tape with you guys. And that's why I was like, I was like, yeah, it's cool. Just um, get back to me like a couple days before Tuesday. You know what I mean? So. So you're gonna try and keep in touch, or you're gonna? Yeah, yeah. You're our, just gonna forget about it. No, no, that'd be good to you have. You gotta her. follow up. Yeah. Remember, exactly. we went through this before, if right? She won if she contest, says swag, what are you gonna do? If she says swag. Yep. What's that? I know that's good, I guess. So I just... You guess, see. What is that? Don't you remember what happened last time when we were trying to get a band? You contacted <laughs> oh, them, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they were That's like, right. swag. Yeah. And that was the end of it. What happened? What is swag? What is swag I didn't mean? know what you meant by swag at first. Now yeah, I, and I heard the gone. song, and I heard everyone talk about it, and now I know what it means. But... So, so what does it mean to you? <laughs> swag? Yeah. I thought swag, from what I understand, is like a dance move, but now it's, I guess it's a yes, saying yes. We swag can means be yes? It can mean a lot of things. I thought it meant you worked at McDonald's. I think yes. it means... Uh, Works swag, at, you work at McDonald's, yes. I thought it meant yes. that you had a walk. You have a yeah, what? Yeah, a, a swagger. swagger. A swagger. A swagger, yeah. A swagger, yeah. I thought yeah. that that's what that meant. For, yeah. It, like it also you're... means it's cool. I don't know It that. means a lot of different things. What's that? I would assume that you live in the ghetto. If you're I would loot from a robbery is also so swag. Say swag to you. Loot for, Let's uh, hope money. she gives you a yes or a no answer. Let's just talk. In yeah, because yeah, because Ian, Ian gets confused easily. Unfortunately, I'm saying they could have just said yes or no. I'll be there, but you just responded with swag. So. She responded with swag. No, this like a while back. Some. It was a rapper. <laughs> oh, Imagine that. Then I got they shot. said swag. Ian's like, uh. <laughs> I know. I didn't even. I don't think I even responded. No, you didn't know how to take it. I don't like the word swag. No, I'm not too cool on swag either. I think it means you live in the ghetto. I'd rather her say yes yeah. or no. Yeah. Whatever she wants to do. Just let us know. I think that she's got an education. So do we? Do we? Let's take a vote. Is I don't the speak Walmart. let's take a vote? Yeah. Is, <laughs> yes, you do, Chrissy. Don't lie. <laughs> I saw you there. I can no, at times, but not on a normal basis. You speak Walmart fluently. No, I do Come not. Come on now, tell the truth. All right, let's take a vote. I speak Walmart. Is the evacuation <laughs> an excuse, or is that an actual reason she's not here? I think it's a reason. Dawn, don't, hold on, let me take... You can find out on Google. I just Googled it, nothing come up. I swear to God, oh. right here it is. Oh. Look, I just Googled it, I swear to God. It said apartment in Newark flooding. Micheline, do you believe, do you believe it's, it's, Today. it's a no, reason or an it excuse? I in there see if there was. Uh, would that be it's a, reason, it's a reasonable excuse is what it is. It's and if it's is a she lie, blowing? Is she blowing? Her. Is she blowing are you, in, off? are you saying, is she blowing sunshine up his ass? Yeah, because she, it, are you bending over to take it? Or? <laughs> I she, it is, I'll believe Only if your boobs are at the other end. I want to know. Okay. Hi. Hi. Do you think it's a real reason or Swag. is it is it bullshit? Swag. That's my answer. Want Ian in your so that's one for bullshit. Chrissy, what do you think? I think that New York's a long way to drive. <laughs> Another one for bullshit. Squ no, Squig, do. what do you think? What's the question? Do you think it's bullshit that there was an evacuation in the New York townhome today? No. Or is that bullshit? For what? <laughs> He's too involved with Chrissy over here. Next. I have a broken phone. Holy oh, mackerel. That just broke? No, no, that's why I have a case on it. Put your penis back down, Squig. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> He's got his hands up there, remember? Huh? I don't never jerk when was the last time? <laughs> no, not this time. It's better than morning coffee. Damn we right. love our morning coffee. So is it an excuse that for her for that uh, she blew Ian yeah. off, or is it a, is a legitimate years. reason? What do you think? He says it's morning wood. Morning wood. <laughs> It's legit. Peanut butter. Legit. Crunchy. Colin, what do you think? Crunchy what? peanut butter. Like you're up. <laughs> did uh, did the model blow Ian off, or did she? Uh, is it a real reason that she's not here? She had to evacuate. Uh, I think she just didn't want to show up. All right. So we took a panel. I'd like to know who was male and who was female. <laughs> <laughs> well, we female. know Ian's male now. It's All Chrissy's male. on this side. Squid. It's one and one. So it's there's a male. It's it's you. And Squig. Micheline. Micheline. What do you got to say? Chrissy and Colin no, said swag. No one would come out with a stupid excuse like that. That's dumb. I'm saying it was, if it was, it was, God, if it was an excuse, it was a good one. But like I said, she, she got back to me pretty early. Maybe she wanted so to evacuate from you. I have to huh? say, for a person who has had their house flooded, I didn't have to evacuate it. <laughs> yeah. But it was an, but it maybe it was an, an apartment. apartment. I don't maybe. know if hers got damaged or what. I think it was more or less yeah, people coming in and out, probably doing shit. Was she, she on the bottom a, floor or on the top floor? 
I don't know. But she said the apartment above, above her, her got yeah. flooded, so she probably got the brunt okay, down bottom. Yeah. Was somebody upstairs high and forgot to turn the water off again? Hey, I don't know. It wasn't there. I don't know, but that there. was in the That's case with their house. <laughs> we have a very interesting they story. Were that, they were high, and they did um, we flood the next door neighbor. We were. Right, the neighbor was high. <laughs> Why does that happen to so many people? Because, because they're high. high. Bitch. Well, no, he got his electric and water cut off and then turned his water back on himself and then forgot to close the little valve thing on his hot water heater. Yeah, that happens a lot. And then he left for 12 hours. Yeah, that happens a lot. People will. <laughs> In Pennsylvania. <laughs> Quit drinking. So actually it wasn't that they were high. It was because he was drunk. So Ian's going to keep up with her. Yeah, he's going to work to get her back on, get her on the show, mm -hmm. and then we'll have to ask her. And we want to see a, a police report. Or something. I need to see a picture <laughs> interrogation. I'm sure that there will you be. You would pictures. like to know the name of your insurance? Super. Yeah, Ian, you got to bring a news report from the paper, or, something. Do, 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 do. or you can do a live report. Put that in there. Run up there and get pictures. <laughs> Go over Run to her house. Get... Now say, wait, what? What's your apartment complex? Or be like, why? I'll be like, uh, Get her address. <laughs> just go beat on the door and say hi. I agree. That is stalker. No, look, dude, you're like. Hey, Al. Listen to these people. Jesse's here. I believe we'll her. Look, you're you're like. And you're, I believe her too. And you're the media, so you can just show up at her door with a, with a camera and a microphone and be like, "Look, I'm here from the Foul Mouth Al show. We want to do a quick interview with you. You know, show us the Who's damage. There? We want to put this on our news. Can you do that? She's I'm probably not going to do that. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to do that. You call her right now and tell her I don't know. What, where, what shelter she was taken to, and me and Albert will go down no, there. No, she's and going donate. to her family's house. Yeah, her boyfriend. She can't do the show over the phone. She's not at a shelter, Squig. I know. No. But remember what we did with Stan? Why not? That's that would be the best substitute. <laughs> Like I said, we get her on the show. Like, you, you don't feel bad? We don't well, have she's going to come back on the show. We're not going to interrogate her. We're just going to ask her. She's going to have shelter. That's right, I know. Shampoo, so you better watch out. Oh, my God. I cannot do some wild shampoo. <laughs> no. Another person bailed on me, free. too. I tried to get down here. It's going to make me cry. Who was it? Who else was supposed to come? <laughs> well, me and Squig, it was his idea. We were going to have a little surprise for you to show that we could book some guests. And uh, it was a female singer, played guitar. She plays up at Sports Zone. Played up at Sports Zone. Who was it? Her name's Melissa. I don't know her last name. Maybe Alyssa or something. Yeah, Doug referred me to her. Yeah, she's good. I listened to her. She's pretty good. That's what Doug said. Yep. Yeah, so she, uh, she Ian's working us. on that. Which said this Tuesday wouldn't work for. Her. Like I said, I don't know what they, maybe they listen to the show and. <laughs> yeah, they say the hell with this. I don't know. Ian's trying to get a woman out of this. Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, we're coming for the show. But what's wait. happening? Jesse. We got rock stars in the house. Jesse, what's happening, Jesse? Jesse? Hello. Come on up. Ian, get the hell out of that chair, son. Let Jesse sit down. Come on, Jesse, have a seat. Get the fuck out of here, Ian. Oh, come on now, Squig. Don't be too mean to him. Ian did work hard. Let's give Ian a hand. He yeah. kicked ass this week. He worked his ass off. Produced That's absolutely. That's a man after my own heart. There. He, he produced absolutely zero. Beers in the pocket. And he's keeping par with where he's been. So. Yeah, man, he shows up. Yeah, he's he the best. Up. And he kicks hey, it. Scoot on up, man. Scoot on up. Can I use the bathroom first? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No bathroom you for you. Poop? I know. I <laughs> yeah, that's what he's got to do. He's got to drop a deuce. That's how they say it, swag style. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> he's got a, a beer it's pee. Like his first game. beer pee going on. Yeah. Look, I didn't even recognize the young lady behind you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who's that? Hmm? Who's that? Squig don't recognize her either, apparently. I do. <laughs> I'm like ninth grade. I know who it is. I'm her bodyguard. Huh? I'm her bodyguard. It's Kristen. Kristen's here. The cusser. Thanks for coming down. Our favorite interviewer of all time ever on the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Let me hear it. Actually, that was a Kia D program, but it went on the Foul Mouth Owl Show because it was... Yeah, let me hear the F word one time. Come on, let it out. Come on, She's give good. it to... Give us a fuck. <laughs> Interview Jesse for us real quick. Ask him a question. Oh, he asked bad questions. Huh? That's fine. <laughs> this is the Foul Mouth Out Show. You can ask. You can ask any questions you want. Well, thanks for coming down. Thanks for disappearing on us. Where the hell did you go? <laughs> She's lost in cyberspace. I, I seen her on. I seen her on Facebook, but there she was. That's where only only place we could see her. Yeah, it's crazy. So Jesse's here. Jesse, tell us what's going on, buddy. How have you been? Pretty good. Nice haircut, man. Thank you. Thank you. It's a little yeah. messy right now. Big difference. It's all clean cut and shit. 
When I saw him, he was shaved. Scoot up to the mic, brother. I got some questions for you. So what the hell's going on? Uh, not much. Working. You're working? I know you're working. Yeah, working. Um, how about music-wise? What's going on? Uh, it's sort of a secret right now. A secret. It's going to be a big announcement. Secrets. Big announcement. I don't like secrets. Secrets don't make friends. When are you going to make the big announcement? I think it's uh, in the next week or so. In the next week or so? Yeah. So you got a new project coming, and you can't talk about it. Mm -hmm. So what the hell can we talk about? I don't know. Secrets are bad. Me hey, can... Um, let's talk about Colin take a picture. No, let's talk about when you can come down here with the band before you release it to everybody. Yeah, why don't you make the announcement on the Foul Mouth Al Show? Mouth Al Show. No. Now or No. Later? Yeah, right now. Why not? Come on. Yeah. What do you got? I'm out in the car waiting. Careful what you say. This is live on the Facebook page, everybody. Oh, yeah. If everybody wants to check in on Facebook, you can mention that we're live on our live stream tab on Facebook. Wow. And they can hear the show live. Cool. Even the before and after stuff that is not going to get recorded. So Jesse's here with absolutely nothing to talk about. Great. Fuck yeah. Squeak did produce, going on. He Thank produced you. a He did produce a guest that has nothing to say. Oh, it's, great. It's Agent Jesse. Fuck it it's what? Ancient Jesse. Ancient. We ain't seen him in a while. I know. Where you been, man? You went on tour with Awake at last, and then you were gone forever. I guess I had to learn how to play drums. I guess so. Yeah. Well, you did learn how to play drums, didn't you? Yeah. I we got your old drum set right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Go play us some beats. Yeah, hook us up with a Show beat. everybody that you can, <laughs> you can play the drum. I want to hear it. Isn't it too late? Hell no! Oh, no, it's never Are too late. Kidding? Give us, give us a quick drum solo. One minute drum we'll solo. Let you go Who wait. wants to hear Jesse do a one minute drum solo? Uh -huh. yes, yes, come on! Yeah. One minute drum solo, live on the Foul Mouth Al Show. If you're listening to this, you can call my phone. So let's see how many listeners we don't have. Hey, we can have a competition with Ian. Last guy. Drum competition. Yeah, Ian, you want to challenge Jesse? Ian hey, wants to challenge, challenge you, Jesse. Colin, that won't work, man. You got to turn on the light over there, buddy. Over there, at the bottom, at the bottom of the steps. Awesome. Live on the Found Out Down Show, it's Jesse Team, the Drum Meister. All right, girls, lay on that carpet and let let Colin take some pictures of you. Go ahead, have a seat. Come on. Jesse Keem. Just throw a beat. <laughs> Who's going to dance? Oh, okay. Yeah, dance like a gypsy up there. I used to take belly dancing classes. Get up, boy. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to do it Dawn, now. Do it. I haven't done it in a long do it. time. No, I, Micheline, I, I, get her up I there. My, yeah. I need my swastika. <laughs> Your swastika. Say that three times. Ian, you might have a chance if that's what he's doing tonight. What? Ian's bad as shit. Oh, he's just tuning Remember up. Remember it, Remember it. Remember you the picture? Right there. 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 Right Come on, Dawn, put the belly dance to it. There you go. What are they doing? The snow girls belly dance. No, they're going outside. Fabulous job. Good job, Jesse Keen, everybody. Jesse yeah. Keen. So we did get live entertainment. So we've covered all the bases. Damn right. I know how to bring it. Yep. <laughs> Colin's uh, the new photographer with the studio. We're going to take some pictures here in a little while. We got a special going on at Lane Carroll Studios. Three for $50 to introduce yourselves to Colin. Check out um, C. Kent on Facebook, right, Colin? It's Seacart. Okay, he just changed his logo. See, 
We got to teach him about marketing. You're going to confuse me. You already confused it's me. It's confusing everyone else too. It is. It is. It's confusing no, everybody. That's not the guy. It was art. Seek art on Facebook. Colin is a good catch. Great visual gotcha. photographer and great visual artist. Check him out. He's got a special going on. Um. What else, Colin? What else you got going on? Uh, the Wake It Lash is supposed to be the poster I made for the report. Awake at Last did what? It just posted the poster that I made for them. Very cool. Call them up and see if they'll come over and see if they want to talk to Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> I was hanging out with Eric the other day. Me... Were you? You were hanging out with Eric? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went to the bar together. And did you? Drunk. Well, that's cool. Were you? With Eric. Cool. So are you getting along with Vince or right. not? Yeah, I went to their show. Yeah. That's good. So everybody's playing nice again? Mostly. Mostly? Yeah, mostly. Wow. That's good because you guys were awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> so let's see. We got some acoustic stuff we did over the last couple of years. Are you guys back together? <laughs> it's awake at last, isn't it, Jesse? Tell us. Oh, Tell us the truth. <clears throat> Are right, you now? Huh? He's lying. He's lying yeah, to you. Huh? He's redoing Shannon. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that stuff. What the heck? I can't hey, find what I'm looking cat? for. I, I gave Jesse a cat. How's that motherfucker? It's a little dickhead. He's a dickhead. He eats spicy Doritos. Damn, he's... What is he, Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> what color was that cat I gave you? Gato. It was a black man. Or a black... It was a black man. <laughs> it was a black man. Squid gave me a black man. He was eating spicy Doritos. And messing up my toilet. Is it a big or a little cat? It's still a little, like that big. All right, kids. Well, this is all fantastic and this all. This is great. The hundredth episode. My water tastes fantastic. Down the fucking drain. What We're all drinking water. Dawn's the only one that came with any beer. Jesse. I brought beer. Maybe Come we on. need more beer. What? And wine. I have wine too. Kristen? Get See, some liquor. That's what beer? we need. Fucking light. Well, they have Kristen. it in the car. They have it in the car, and I was summoned, but <laughs> I turned her down. Third time's a charm. <laughs> I was just summoned for liquor. I was thinking about when he messed up, and then I was like, what? Because <laughs> <What? laughs> I always got it right. Her name, I was like, Kirsten. Kirsten. Share. Kristen. You didn't even know who the hell she was. <laughs> That's because of her hair is all dyed up. <clears throat> Colorful. What color Colorful. was it before? Was I thought she had a. Uh, Daniel Boone skunk hat. Yeah, I saw that <laughs> video. Just... She had the blonde. Hair, so... What'd you say, I Ian? I saw that video of you, but I'm saying if she had the blonde hair, I would probably know off the bat who it was, too. But that threw me off. Yeah, because that's what I'm around. used to is the blonde hair. Yes. She was, uh, she was a star of an episode at Ikea D all by herself. Oh, it was fantastic. What did you think of that? Did you think we were making fun of you? or did you? I don't know. I was laughing. I was it was hilarious. Yeah, it, was it was great. Was shit. laughing. I was, it was awesome. I mean, I laugh my ass off every time. Fuck I hear Via. It. Who wants to look at? Who wants to listen to Via when you, yeah, when you got this God young lady make, fucking up and making cuss words and? Best cusser I ever heard. She taught me some shit that day. <laughs> sentence cuss words. I've never thought you could do shit sentence like that. Cuss Whole sentence, just all cuss words, and it works. So the last time I talked to you, I think we were at the uh, School of Rock, Jesse, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, you and Eric were making fun of Vince, and Vince walked in. And then after that, it's like, the next thing I know, you and Mike were out of the band. It wasn't too much longer after that, was it? Uh, actually, I think we went on a tour after that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You went on the tour, that's right. And yeah, we um, a full U.S. tour out to California. So maybe you can give us some insight, because... Uh, Vince and Eric came over here one night, and they were they were like they didn't even get to on the show. They hung out, and they were about to go back on, but then they left, and they acted like we were gonna get them or something. Are they are they thinking that we were out to get them or doing something to embarrass them? Or can Look, you give us some insight on that? No lie, um, Eric was like this, and Vince was like this. Squigs the making whole fun because they were biting their nails. They were sitting right where you were sitting, and they were like, they, Actually they looked nervous nails. as shit. They probably were. They're not used to making decisions and all that, so. <coughs> no, they were, like, afraid Albert was going to pounce on them. For what? No, I think, that, did they did they think we put something out in a video or something that embarrassed them, or? Maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know. 
You have no insight on that whatsoever. Why they were nervous of being here? Hey, yeah. Maybe they was hot. I have no idea. That was a great drum solo, Jesse. Yes. <laughs> great drum solo. Jesse has nothing. Zero. He can't even tell us what's going on in this music project. I bet it's awake at last. Nah. Is it? No, that's not. Fuck. Yeah. Why you got the wake, new awake at last tattoo? No, oh, yeah. I got it in my butt. Do you? <laughs> Damn, Colin, you gotta take a picture of that. Okay. <laughs> Jesse's pulling down his no, pants. No, Jesse's like, I need a couple more of these beers first. <laughs> so, remember when you said, what do you need Jesse for? <laughs> when Wake at Last got done playing the acoustic song. What? Remember? One, two, three, and shadows come out in all form, shapes, and I think it was right at the end of when we recorded this song here. What'd I say? You're like, what do you even need him for? Because <laughs> he's the drummer. He's just sitting there. Oh, yeah. Remember, you didn't get to play nothing. Should have brought in some fucking bongos. Now, we weren't, we weren't doing anything to offend any, you know. Everything we talked about that night, you know, we lived up to and we held everything right. So I just, you know, I don't want any hard feelings with Vince. Yeah, they're tough. They're, but he's got to know. I'm going to ask him when he comes down they're here. They're real touchy. I just want to know. Why'd you guys split what happened when you guys don't want me? Uh, yeah. uh, it's hard to explain, really. I was actually... You were promoting them like, what the fuck? Yeah, they, uh... Me and Eric were arguing a lot. <coughs> and a goldfish thing? That's fucked up. I think our heads got a little big at the time. You and who? Me and Eric. Eric? Yeah. And, uh... Some people felt that other people needed more practice, and other people... Didn't. I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just a lot of dispute mm-hmm. with all kinds of stuff. Fucking rock stars. Yeah. Everybody became rock stars. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, they had different issues with Mike than they did with me. But yeah, I've, I've met Mike a couple times. He was in a band. So huh? we can't hear you. You got to be on the mic to talk. Yeah, when we do this show, it's like you got to be on the mic if, if you bring up a question. If you got a question, come on over. If you got a question, come on over. Because the, it doesn't get picked up in the recording. So, so that was the end of that. And then you say they had different issues with Mike. Yeah. And then, so, but it happened at the same time, right? Pretty much. Me and Mike were good friends. We were pretty much best friends, and they got rid of got rid of me, so they got rid of Mike too. I guess. So, are you and Mike still playing together? No. Doing side shit or anything? Mike's nothing? got a big boy job. Oh. Hmm. He makes good money. Can you tell us anything about the new band? Anybody else that might be in it? Um, like one person? Oh, I just realized it is you. It's in the yeah. band with my cousin. Yeah, I'm playing with so them too. I know all about it. Oh, uh, so we got it. He knows my other project. He knows That's my, another one. He knows Bullshit. Yeah, I'm doing something. Jesse's something playing too. the cover up right now. Oh. Well, if but he doesn't want to release, we can't yeah. do that. Well, we're not going to release anything like that with Colin. We can't do yeah, that. Yeah, we can't trust Colin anyway. We're the honest media. <laughs> Drop soap around. Colin. Is there such a thing as an honest media? We're biased media. Who are we biased for? We're biased for everyone that we have contact with. Anyway, so when is this announcement going to come? When's this going to happen? Uh, I don't know. I'll actually text this person right now. So, I mean, you're going to make an announcement. Are you guys going to come out with a slew of shows, or you just have a, a actually, project that you're going to CD? They're an established band already, and they just got signed to a management label and a, a booking agent. Is it Abacus? That's, huh? Is it Abacus? No. It's a little bit different than that. Aren't they a cover band? Maybe. I don't uh, know. We no, they're uh, cover bands. Stop guessing over there. <laughs> got it. Not even on a microphone. They got pretty legit management and booking and already planning like full U.S. tours and all that stuff. So it's pretty a pretty established band already. Fuck yeah. Are they out of Delaware? Yeah. So you're getting a, a, a involved with a established band. So basically you're getting on a project that's already been... Rock and roll. Is it a new name for the band or is it no? Uh, just replacing the drummer and uh, oh, it's killing me. The singer. Ask him if we could, if you could talk. 
You're a, they're replacing the drummer and they're replacing the singer? Yeah. <laughs> you definitely heard of them? Huh? If we, would anyone here, you think, Stella Probably. on fire? Huh? Stella on fire? No. They are looking for a drummer, though. Uh-huh. It's not them. Hmm. So you going to tell us next week? Yeah, I'll tell you next week. Next week? Next week. Is there a date? Official date? I don't know. That's what I'm trying hey, to can think. you see if all the guys can come down next week? Yeah, Squig needs oh, guests. Yeah, what's, uh, <laughs> I know, hey, uh, I'm working it. If you want to get your pro, get your uh, promotion on the Foul Mouth Al show with your band, give Squig a call. Squiggity Squig, 526-6569. Or uh, text him or check out Mark McGuigan on Facebook. And... Um, Jesse's texting like a fiend over there. So the only thing I got left to talk about, kids, is changing your luck. Jesse, how's your luck been lately? Uh, pretty good. And you could use better luck, more good luck, more of that, right? Mm -hmm. So all you got to do is something different than you've always done, and that's one thing that you've never probably done too much. I know you've done it before a few times, but you probably slacked off like everybody. Yeah, he's done it, but... You got to tell five people about foulmouthout.com by Friday. Then they bring back flashbacks. <laughs> if you go up to somebody and you shake your head yes and you say, you can tell five people about foulmouthout.com by Friday, right? And they'll start shaking their head and they'll say, yeah. Just like a bobblehead. Yep. Or a bitch going And then down. next thing you know, they're telling five people. Kristen's telling five people. Kirsten's telling five people. Jesus Christ. See? You made me do it. I thought about it before I even said anything. And the whole fucking world knows about foulmouthout.com. By Friday. By Friday. So make sure you tell five people about foulmouthout.com by Friday, Jesse, and your luck will improve. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Mm. Ian, what's going on next week? What do you got happening? Uh, as far as the guests or what in my life? <laughs> You're coming, are you coming down to the show next week? Uh, I don't see why not. Next week we're going to have an abbreviated show, if we have a show at all, because it's the night before the Freethinkers Ball. The next, one, <coughs> next Wednesday is the Freethinkers <coughs> Ball at Sports Zone in Smyrna. Please check that out, 235 Stadium Street. What else? Anything? What else? What else? All right. Five mile five. Jesse, make sure you tell five people about foulmouthout.com. Kirsten, make sure you tell about five people about foulmouthout.com by Friday. And I guess we'll take it out with Lowdown 302. Have fun, kids. Thanks for checking out the Foul Mouth Al Show 100th anniversary. Check out our good friends if you need any fine printing done on any material. DelawareScreenPrinting.com. This is Foul Mouth Al. We'll see you next time. <laughs>